everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i have some exciting nails i will be trying duck nails for the first time and these are the tips that i will be using i got them from nailed by naomi and this is how they look they're not super long or anything and i'll be using them just like this and then I will also be using Young Nails Speed Clear, Young Nails Cover Flamingo, and Glow Powders from Vanessa Nails. And these are the names. And of course, I will be leaving links to whatever I can down below in the description box. So don't forget to check that out. And then also the brush I will be using is a size 12 from A Glor Co. And the monomer. I'll be using is from Afro Glam Nails and then I'll also be using some other things later on in the video like some charms and crystals and stuff like that so yeah I am I was excited to do these nails because I've been saying like I got hooked and I've been wanting to do some duck nails so I finally did it like yay me <laughs> so here i am um putting on some primer and this primer is from sincere Lux Co. only thing is this is just the old bottle she changed the bottle it's clear now and after primer i did two coats of primer and then after that i'm coming in with a thin layer of clear acrylic and i do this on all of my nails which is a step i always do whether i'm using tips or whether i'm sculpting and even if i'm just using a cover color i always put a layer of clear on my nails so that's just a tip for me so again um and at first i kind of had a hard time deciding what i wanted to do on my nails like i went back and forth and just trying to look at different inspiration and then it clicked on me like oh let's do some glow nails and then while deciding that i was thinking like oh my god what am i gonna do what am i gonna do <laughs> with that so i was also going back and forth with that and i just a bunch of ideas on how to do my nails so and then I finally came up with a design and I like it. It isn't exactly what I had planned in my head, even though that wasn't a clear idea in itself, but I still like what I did. So I did some French tips and I'm doing acrylic French tips, which I never do because for some reason they just never work out for me but i did it this time and they came out pretty good they could be better i will admit that but i'm just proud of myself for finally doing it like the last time i did an acrylic french tip on myself was probably like two three years ago so yes <laughs> so again this color is cover flamingo from young nails and yeah i i can't really explain what i'm doing but i'll try like i just placed the first bead around the um where my nail and the tip meet and then i just form it into shape and i do make it thick or high enough so that when i put the colors on there's room to encapsulate and also to um file down so that's something that I've learned from watching other people too. Just sort of, you sort of want to make it a little, just a little bit bigger than you want it to be. So that way it leaves room to file um, down. And also, I um, after I did the French tips and they were completely hard, I took a hand file and filed the shape of the smile lines to make it a little more crisp. You know, especially because... 
I don't do these, so, but now that I did this and they came out pretty good, I feel more inspired to do them more often now. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to be doing this all the time, every time I do my nails, but there will be some more videos of me doing French tips because I have fallen in love with French tips over the years, and if you haven't noticed basically all of the nails that i do have french tips on them which is insane <laughs> so again i was very proud of these nails like oh, look at that they look i was just very very happy so and i did use the thumb as like a for a practice nail before i started filming my other nails so that's why the thumb is done and i usually save the thumb for reels anyway but I didn't feel myself doing that I just did it just to see how it would come out and if it was worth my time to actually do it on the rest of my nails so yes so I only did a French tip on the all the fingers except for the ring finger so yeah so you could just keep watching and then I will be back for the next step. Okay, so here, like I mentioned earlier, I am filing around the smile line to help crispen up the shape. Is that even a word? I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to still use it. Um, yeah, so again, I'm just crispen crispening up the shape. <laughs> and for that, I am using a 100 grit nail file. And also, when you, whenever you do this, just be careful not to file too much because you can um, damage the nail tip by, like, cracking it or breaking it or something like that. So, again, just be careful when doing something like this on the nail tip so you don't damage it. Also, y'all, sorry if you hear any screaming and hollering kids. I am... Uh, right above their um their preschool and they are outside right now and sometimes they bring the crying kids outside so i guess not to disturb the other kids so sorry if you can hear that so now on to the next step and this is what the nails are looking like so far after i um shaped up the smile line so i am coming in with the colors now and i believe i'm starting on the ring finger yes i am and this will be a full color nail and it's going to be an ombre of all the colors so i'm starting at the bottom of the nail and work my way to the top and i'm going from blue green yellow orange pink purple so Yes, and again, these are glow powders, glow acrylics from Vanessa Nails, and these are the ones that I always use whenever I do some glow nails. I do love these powders very much, and they have been lasting me a long time as well because, again, I don't wear glow in the dark nails a whole bunch anyway, but... 
and I really only do my own nails, so of course it's going to to last me a long time. But yeah, um, I'm just placing the color, blend it. Like when I place it, I pat it into place, and then I blend it up so that it's not a harsh line for when I put the next color on top of it, and also blend it down to create that ombre effect and again i'm going from blue green yellow orange pink purple so i'm going to do that and then i'll be back when i get to the next nail So when I got to the pink, that's when I started to feel like, well, that's when I did have a little trouble because I, um, as you can see, running it out of room, but also I felt like I wasn't adding enough color. So you'll see that when I put the purple on, I put too much and I'll have to keep going back and forth between the two colors to get them on the nail, but I did eventually make it work. So now I am starting on the French tip nails and for all of these fingers they will be like the same design and I like a tie dye effect so I'm just taking a little bit of each color place it down blend it into place and then pick up another color and do the same thing on the whole tip of the nail just to give it that I don't know, I guess, like I said, like the tie-dye effect. And I do, when I do this, I tend to 
place colors next to each other that will blend well with each other but of course you'll see like some of the colors don't necessarily go together but it still worked out and they blended okay into each other and didn't like change colors or look weird or anything and so i do that on the rest of the nails and again i left the thumb for a reel so that will be left out of the video and so even while doing this i was trying to like even out the colors because i felt like on some of the nails like some of the colors were stuck on one side and then the other colors on the other side of the nail so i was trying to like spread out the colors and stuff so it'll look even but in the end i do like how it turned out they look so good and so yeah but i do love glow in the dark nails they're so fun especially because after they charge especially like even at night time when i'm laying down my nails are still glowing not super bright or anything but like i can still see the glow of the nails so that's just something fun about having glow in the dark nails so yeah i guess we can just finish watching this part which is gonna take a little while to get through because i'm doing all these fingers and yeah, I don't want to bore anybody by just talking, talking, talking. I don't really have much to say today. So, yeah, if I do have something to say, I'll jump back in. But just continue to enjoy this part of the video. And I will be back. So I was wondering, is there anything that anybody would like to see me do? So if you do have anything, you could just leave it down in the comment 
section below and I will do my best to get to that as soon as possible. So now I am encapsulating the nails and when I do that I like to wet the nail with some monomer before I come in with the acrylic and so the um what am I trying to say <laughs> uh the again the the clear I am using is young nails speed clear so yes and I'm just encapsulating all the colored parts and I do get a little bit on the um the nail bed part of the nail and that's okay because I'm just going to file it off anyway I just want to make sure that I have all of the colored acrylic encapsulated so that way I don't file it off when I do come in with my electric file so yeah there is that part and I'll be back 
Also, I do want to say that when doing the duck nails, you want to keep the shape of the nail. So, you don't want to make it too bulky on the side. So, I've just been careful to make sure that I keep all the acrylic, like, in the lines. If you... It, I guess if that makes sense so that way because sometimes I do tend to go outside of the shape and it tends to get a little bulky but I didn't want that to happen with these nails because I didn't want to file too much and take away from the shape of this nail even though these particular tips aren't super flared especially because of that because you can file too much and take away the flare of the nail and it ends up just looking like a wide square nail instead of a duck tip nail so now i am coming in with filing and i did speed this part up a little bit faster um and the hand file i'm using is an 80 grit Panna file got it from Amazon and I am coming in going like underneath the nail pulling if there's any pulling the skin away from the acrylic so once I don't cut myself in so that I can file off any hanging acrylic and then I do go in and shape the nail but because I was good at staying in the lines of the nail I don't I didn't have to shape too much and again I didn't want to do that so I wouldn't take away from the shape of the nail and I'm also going in and uh filing the very free edge of the nail to help shape it a little bit and i do go in later on and do that even more so now i am taking my e-file and the bit i'm using is a medium grit five in one bit and this particular one is from kiera sky and then my dust collector is from young nails and my e-file is from medical and so I'm just going over the top of the nail, debulking anything, and also going around the cuticle area. But I do feel like my cuticle application was pretty good, so I didn't have to take away too much from that. And so, and I'm also making sure to keep checking the shape of my nail, so that way, again, I don't mess up the shape from these tips. Because I still want them to have that flared look. So it can be a duck nail. So, yes, I'm just being careful to file on the sides of the nail. But I'm mostly just trying to debulk the nail and file it down a little bit. And then once I am done with that part, I come in with another hand file. Which is a 100 grit file. And I do some finish hand filing across the top of the nail and also i come back in with the 80 grit file to oh, excuse me to um sharpen up the the free edge of the nail so it'll be kind of crisp because right now they're a little bit rounded and i want it to be more crisp and like squared off at the end and i think i achieved that pretty well so and then once I'm done with that that part of filing, I come in and I buff the nails so they are smooth. So you just continue to watch and I will be back for the next part. Also wanted to jump in and say the speed I'm using my e-file at is about, I want to say I had it on like an 18 so yeah i tend to use my e-file at higher speeds when necessary and that's just my comfort zone and of course use what you are comfortable with if you prefer to use it at a lower speed during this stage then go ahead and do that but over the years i've learned to be comfortable using my e-file at higher speeds um yeah, there was something else I wanted to say, but I forgot it. So, if I remember, I will come back and say that. 
Okay, so I remembered. I was going to say I do have a video dedicated to filing my nails. And there in that video, there's just square nails. But it's pretty much the same steps as these. And I will leave a link to that down below. And again, if I remember, I will put a card in the video as well i always forget to do that i always say that and then i forget to do it but hopefully this time i won't forget so don't forget to check that out in the link down below if you would like to see how i file my nails So here are the nails all filed and cleaned and all that stuff and this is actually two days later <laughs> so um, I am going to be drawing like an outline around the smile line and the sides of the nail and I'm using Madame Glam's black gel paint and the Nails by Dev Hella Cute liner brush. Um, I'll leave a link to something else because the Madame Glam gel paint is out of stock right now so i'll see what else i could find i hear the uh gel paints from nails by dev are pretty good as well so i'll probably leave a link to that even though i haven't used it but it's just an option for anybody that cares to try it out so i might i think i myself want to try it out so eventually i might go ahead and buy that so and yeah, like I said, I'm just doing an outline of the nail and I do make the sides just a little thicker just so you can see them more from looking at the, um, well, looking at the top of the nail, I was just looking at my nails to see if I can see it a little more and not really, but that's okay. I'm not tripping that hard off of that, but I do make the sides the side outline a little thicker so it can possibly be more noticeable and I do this finger by finger because I don't want to uh, 
mess it up while working on another finger so after i do that i cure for 60 seconds in my light and the light i am using is the kiara sky beyond pro led lamp that's what i always use i want to try a new lamp i do i want to try the uh not polished one but we shall see kiara sky is it's still working so i'm gonna just go ahead and keep using that until i can't anymore and then when the time comes i will decide on another light to buy so yeah all right oh speak of you know like trying new things are there any products out there that anybody likes and would recommend just so i can know for like future times because I really am trying to slow down on buying stuff and only buying it when I need it. Because I'm a nail supply shopaholic. There we go. So, <laughs> I do tend to buy things even when I don't need it. So, I end up with a whole bunch of stuff. So, But I've been good lately. Very good. I don't buy as many a colored acrylics as i used to like i used to just be buying stuff just to be buying it especially if it was on sale but now the thing that i buy the most is like nail charms and stuff so i have a ton of those and some of the things like i haven't even made a dent in so <laughs> but that's okay because these days i don't just buy for myself anymore i share with my niece and I share with my sister as well. So, yay me for that. So, it's not like I just, it is. But a lot, some of my things do get used. And I try to even just throw them on my uh, practice hand nails and stuff. Just because. So, yeah. Again, after I do the outline, I cure for 60 seconds and then I will be moving on to the next step, which is coming up in a few seconds. <sighs> Excuse me, y'all. Okay, so after I took a little while to decide what I want to add to my nails, I, find I decided on these crosses, so I will be adding them to all of the french tip nails and i'll be using a mccart gel glue and this one has like the little needle tip on it which i thought was really cool i do want to try the other one which is the rhinestone glue and while uh watching this video back i realized that the names of the glues are different as well so I believe this one said like gel glue and the other one says like rhinestone glue. So I want to see if they are the same thing. So, so far I'm having um, good times with this. Like nothing has come off of my nail and it's been like, this is day three, I think at the time that I'm recording this voiceover, it's like day three of me having these things glued to my nails so yay for that so again i'm just adding the uh cross and then two crystals and these are the electric colors and i do one at a time and i found it better to do it that way because this gel it is slippery so if you leave it too long things are going to start sliding out of place so i put the cross in the crystals cured for 60 seconds then moved on to the next finger so yeah and yeah because my original thing like i wasn't even going to add the cross so i was just going to do the crystals in a different color on every nail and on my thumb it's purple so but I was like, I felt like it needed something else. And so I was looking through my things and came across these crosses. I was like, yes, I like this. So that's what I went with. And then once I'm done with this, I'll be moving on to the ring finger, which is now. So again, I'm using the same glue and I'm just doing a um, 
some bling down my finger and I'm using a couple of uh, Swarovski crystals, a shape, and some brown flat backs, and then also a nail charm. And then once I I do flash cure, and you'll see that in the video, so things will stop moving around and sliding out of place. And then once I get everything where I want it to go, I go in for a full cure of 60 seconds, and then that's it after that i come in with some top coat which will be not polished gloss it and you will see me do that and of course like for tight areas when i top coat i always take some out the bottle and i use my liner brush to go around the areas that the brush from the bottle won't get into because it's too big and then i cure the top coat for 60 seconds yes i cure everything for 60 seconds and then um once that's over that is it so yeah so this we're getting close to the end of the video so thank you for watching i really appreciate it hope you enjoyed this i had fun doing these nails i love how they look i like the duck tips and i didn't always like them i was like oh my god these are ugly but the more i kept seeing them in like the different designs and stuff i was like these be looking cute so the influencing of the internet influenced me to try these and i like them and i will be doing them again don't know when but i will be doing some duck nails again and i'm excited about that so again i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching i really appreciate it and there will be some clips of my nails glowing like these have this acrylic powder has a great glow power especially after a fresh charge like you go outside in the sun and your nails are going to be glowing as soon as you go inside in a dark spot like love it so again thank you for watching i really appreciate it hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on my socials on instagram and tiktok at the nail glow up and i will see you all next time so peace out y'all